Uh, good morning. This is um, one of three videos to support Year 12 method students, particularly in um, Thursday the 5th of May period 1. So this is video number one and it's about drawing tangent graphs. So the tangent graph, unlike the sine and cos, has a period of phi, like the sine and cosine curve. Because it is undefined, when theta equals pi on 2 and 3 pi on 2 and 5 pi on 2, it has asymptotes. And keeping in mind that this is where 0 is, this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and here is quadrant 4 in um, the full revolution. And in the full revolution, where you go through quadrant one through to quadrant four, you're going to have two complete cycles, this cycle and this cycle. Okay, so the period of this will be pi divided by n, which is three. The period of this will be pi divided by a half, which is two pi. If I was to draw this particular curve, I would be drawing it for this particular restricted domain and I have some dilations occurring, and I have a translation, which is to the left, pi on two. The period is going to be pi on three. Therefore, I'm going to have six cycles when drawing it from zero to two pi. So six iterations. Okay, since I'm going to have a period of pi on three, then I would have my asymptotes pi on 6 either side of 0. Sorry, I'm going to draw y equals 2 tan of 3x. And once I've drawn that, I'm then going to move it to the left pi on 2. So I'm going to have asymptotes of pi on 6 and minus pi on 6. Pi and 6, it's 2 pi and 6, it's 3 pi and 6, it's 4 pi and 6, it's 5 pi and 6, it's 6 pi and 6. So it's only going up to pi at the moment. So I have an asymptote here. And I have an asymptote here. Draw it without the translations. I know that it goes through at 0, 0. Therefore, my first asymptote will be half of the period either side of the y axis. So I'm going to have a curve that looks like this. etc. for this particular graph. But now I've got this graph which has been moved to the left, pi on 2. So all I'm going to do is move my asymptotes because I know what the curve looks like. So here is where pi on 2 is. So if that moves to the left, then I'm going to have an asymptote here at x equals 0. And I'll have an asymptote here at x equals pi on 3, that's an up here, x equals 2 pi on 3. And now I know that my curve will look like this. And then I can draw a nice, clean, neat graph. I have asymptotes at 0, pi on 3, that's 2 pi on 6 x equals 0. So that's what my curve looks like in black. I've put all my asymptotes as 0, pi and 3, 2 pi and 3, 3 pi and 3, 4 pi and 3, pi. Y, x-intercept at pi and 6, 2 pi and 6, 3 pi and 6, which is pi on 2, 4 pi and 6, 5 pi on 6, 6 pi and 6, 7 pi on 11, pi on 6, and that is my final graph. 